All right, guys. Today we're gonna to talk about how you can stop cook um, junk food and frozen food at home. All right. See how we are still upon it, especially on a Sunday. There's a lot of people still going and I buy um, frozen food. So we are saying to you, you don't need to do that anymore at home. Okay. Trust me, you don't need to um like go to the supermarket or to the shop on a Sunday and buy frozen food. And you know what I mean junk food or all uh, them stuff there so basically what we are saying to you you don't have to do it on a sunday guys all right especially on a sunday you want to make sure you know what i mean on a sunday you want to make sure you um you put yourself together and make yourself a nice lovely sunday dinner for the family and you know what i mean that can last for two days or three days all right, but you're gonna say to yourself, Oh, I'm gonna do that, Chef Ricardo, because you know, what I mean, yes, it can be done, guys. All <laughs> right, it can be done. You don't have to um, cook it on a Sunday, you know. Yeah, we're gonna simply say to you that on a Sunday, there's no need for you to cook any um, frozen food or junk food, cook something nice and healthy on a Sunday for the family that can last. You know what I mean? For another day. Yeah, why not? So, today, we're going to be showing you what you can also do and still save um, money at home. Alright? You can still save money, guys. You don't have to worry yourself and think, oh yeah, I don't have money to buy fish. I don't have money to buy chicken. So, I have some frozen food where I'm going to be cooking. You don't have to do that. And then you cook frozen food Monday and Tuesday and then Wednesday. All right, what you want to do, anything you have in your fridge, or if you go to the supermarket, buy either chicken or fish or whatever you have. All right, so we're talking about frozen junk food. Vegetable is different. All right, you can use frozen vegetable. That's, you know what I mean? That's fine because I'm going to show you. All right, so at the moment, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going right now in the kitchen with Chef Ricardo. Okay. So right here, okay, I got some vegetable. No, no vegetable. This is some um so I'm gonna be doing some roast potato. This is sweet potato and normal potato. So I'm gonna be showing you. This is I'm already start to cook these because you know what I mean it takes a little bit of time to cook, so I start to cook these from early. And also I got two pieces of fish. So what you can do whatever potato you have or whatever kind of stuff you have in your in your house, just make a large portion of roast vegetable uh no roast potato and roast sweet potato right here all right so this is a part one of it all right then what you can do i got two nice lovely piece of sea bass fish right here okay you don't have to cook sea bass fish or you don't have to cook salmon or you don't have to cook fish you can cook, you can cook chicken pork beef lamb whatever you have at home but i'll just simply say to you a lot of people still got things in their freezer and still go the way and cook frozen food. All right? Yeah. In their fridge. Some people have all chicken and beef and all them things in their fridge. And still cook frozen food. Same way. All right? So we're going to simply show you. You don't have to. So what we're going to do. We're going to put a little bit of. This is some. Um, this is just like vegetable season. We are not going to use. Can use for anything. All right? Vegetable season. All right, so we got two nice lovely pieces of sea bass right there, which I'm gonna show you what you can do with the sea bass fish at home. And then we're gonna get some some garlic. All right, yeah. So we got some vegetable season on it. Simple. And then we're gonna get two pieces of garlic, two cloves of garlic. I'm gonna cut them up. You can use. The garlic press and press the garlic. Well, I'm gonna walk you through it today or I'll show you exactly what you can do at home. Alright, now some garlic. Alright. Alright, you need some garlic. 
Um, this is some rosemary. I love my rosemary. So I'm going to put some rosemary inside of it. Because you know rosemary is one of Chef Ricardo favorite. All right. I love my rosemary. Nice one. I got some chili pepper. All right. I'm going to put some chili pepper inside of it. And also, I have some fresh thyme and rose and uh, coriander. I'm just gonna cut up these. All right. So this is some coriander and fresh thyme. All right. Using up some natural stuff on it. You don't have to do it the way a chef Ricardo doing it, but I like to just use some natural stuff on my cooking, you know, natural herbs. Then we're gonna grate a piece of a ginger. Nice one. All right. Then we're gonna just zest a little bit of lemon. Nice one. And then some lemon juice. All right, nice one. So that's the lemon juice inside of it. And that's honestly, you guys can do this at home. Honestly, you do, it doesn't complicate it to do this guys at home. Simple, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a little bit of paprika on it. All right, a little bit of paprika, give it a little bit of color, okay? No salt, we're gonna put some Soya sauce on it. Just a little bit of soya sauce. All right. Yeah. A little bit of soya sauce. And some chili. Nice one. All right. A um, little bit of sweet chili sauce. Not too much, roughly about a teaspoon. All right. Then. It's nice to cook the salmon, this kind of fish with a little about a teaspoon of oil inside of it. Olive oil. I'm using olive oil. All right. Then what you want to do. All right. That's looking good, guys. Honestly. I'm telling you the honest truth. I love that. That looking fantastic and an amazing. All right. And trust me, you guys can do the same thing at home all right it doesn't complicate it to do it you can use whatever you have on it you can put some spring onion white onion whatever you have lee thank you so much whatever you have at home you can just use it on it so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna simple rub up this all right together all right honestly look at that beautiful and nice so once you rub it up what you want to do place it into your tray like this All right, I don't know if you guys eat sea bass, but you know what I mean? I love sea bass fish. Just put that beautiful sauce, which we just made up, on top of it like this. All right. Yeah, that looking good, guys. Now, what we're going to do, all right, I've got some tomato. We're gonna roast some tomato inside of it. All right, I love roast tomato. That's gonna just sweat and give that, that nice, lovely flavor into that fish in the pot, guys, honestly. You guys gonna love this. Super easy and simple. Little bit of black pepper. All right, that is so lovely. But take a good look at that, simple. Now, what we're gonna do also, if we got some bay leaf, we can just put a nice two bay leaf inside of it. Cause you know, bay leaf just bring in flavor for anything you're cooking at home. All right, honestly, that looks amazing. And it's so simple guys, and so easy. And as I say, you don't have to cook fish. You can cook chicken, beef, lamb, 
whenever you have at home, you know what I mean, on a Sunday. God, you know, sometimes when you're passing and you see that long queue at certain kind of places, you're wondering to yourself, I know a lot of people work 9 to 5, stressed out, tired, but on a Sunday, you know what I mean, you have to try and put some energy back in the immune system with some healthy food, all right? Because sometimes when you pass, when I just pass a while, I'm going to see that long queue. And I'm saying to myself, why they have such a long queue on a Sunday? You know what I mean? You know those kind of fast places where we're talking about? Long queue. And I was like, there's no way on a Sunday, such a long queue. You don't need that on a Sunday, guys. You know what I mean? No matter the situation is on a Sunday, if you're working and you're really tired, come home, lay down and sleep and get some rest. And then you'll come and make yourself a nice, lovely meal like this. All right? Trust me. Something different. You work very hard. You need. You don't only want to put something. We're gonna put sugar in your body and to damage your body in the next ten years time from now. Cook some food and something healthy. Even some fish or something. Chuck it in the oven and bake it and like what Chef Ricardo do. So we're gonna bake this for roughly about ten to 50, 20 minutes the least in the oven. Cause my oven is on. My oven is pre on already, pre heated. So for roughly about twenty minutes. All right. Let's put this in the oven, guys. All right, now, this is in the oven. So what I want to simply say to you, it doesn't matter if you're at home all on a Sunday, and you know what I mean? You feel like, you know, you want to make it a little bit more easier for you, then this is what we're going to show you what you can also do. Frozen vegetable, that's what I have in my freezer at the moment, all right? And I'm going to simply show you, say, you still can use some frozen vegetable. You can use a fresh one or a frozen vegetable. This is some frozen vegetable, so we're gonna cook up some frozen vegetable also. All right, beautiful and nice, and it's gonna be super easy and super simple. All right, so what we're gonna do is this. All right, let's get the camera right over there, guys. All right, turn on the cooker. All right, these were already washed off into some water. We're gonna pour some hot water. On it like this all right you don't need any salt with the frozen vegetable all right yeah so the whole thing is what i said to you to so stop cook you know what i mean frozen food or junk food on a sunday all right you know you know there's fast frozen food like you know what i mean pizza very quick and easy to chuck in the oven you know what i mean sometimes you gotta have some frozen chicken and you know what I mean? Which did it from a long time in the freezer. So what you want to do, you want to try and avoid doing that on a Sunday. During the week is a little bit more different, okay? But on a Sunday, I think on a Sunday, you want to try and cook yourself a nice, lovely meal, which is going to last till Monday or probably even Tuesday, all right? As I said, soup is one of the main things which I normally make on a Sunday. To show you guys, soup is the best time to make is on a Sunday, all right? So right here, as you can see for yourself, we are cooking up some frozen vegetable. All right? Because the frozen vegetable is not bad. You know what I mean? But you might have said, why you say frozen veg frozen food? But I'm going to say, this is, this is veg. This is not like pizza or certain kind of junk food. You know what I mean? Quick fast food where you want to do on a Sunday. But on a Sunday, guys, it is very important for you to just cook something very, you know what I mean, very, very quick and simple, all right? Very quick and simple, then, you know what I mean? But if you have, as I say, this is what I have in my freezer right now at the moment, you know, I could do a salad to go with this meal, but vegetable will do really well and nice, all right? Yeah, so let's get the plate and show you what you can also do. In the meantime, this is going to be ready and the fish is going to be getting ready also in the meantime. Alright, and make sure guys when you're eating on a dinner, always eat with a lot of vegetables and also with a lot of even avocado is very good to put on the plate. I'm gonna get some. Let's put some avocado on the plate. All right, I've got some avocado. I'm gonna use some avocado. All right, 
then I'm gonna show you guys how my plate look. As soon as I finish, I will show you guys how the plate gonna be looking in the kitchen. Yeah, so, you know what I mean? As I say, it's just something I want to share with you guys, you know what I mean? Because I know that a lot of people still, when I pass a while, I'm going to see all that long queue. Very, very long, long, long queue, what I'm saying. On a Sunday, you know what I mean? And not only that, your friend, for no, I can't believe on a Sunday, you got such a long queue, people still, you know what I mean? Yeah, go on a, on a line up for cook or if you buy um, those kind of meat. They don't want to buy those kind of food on a Sunday. On a Sunday, you're supposed to make a nice, lovely, lovely, um, you know what I mean? Either a soup or some chicken or whatever you have at home, you know, use it. You know? So right here, this is the vegetable one I'm doing at the moment. Alright? And I'll teach you something. When you do the other vegetables, sometimes you can just squeeze a little bit of lemon juice inside of it like this. Do, do your research on this one, guys. Alright. That is lovely. So we're doing some vegetable. And we got the, the fish in the oven at the moment. And this is just a simple little dinner. What you can do for a Sunday. Alright. Yeah. Um, yeah, but anyway, shout out to every one of you guys who are taking the time. NW, any porridge for ideas for vegan? Yeah, I can make you a, a vegan porridge, man. Can I make you a vegan porridge? Vegan porridge is easy to make. All you have to do is just don't have any, um, veg any, any one of the, like milk and them stuff there to eat or honey. You know what I mean? You can use some brown sugar and sweeten it. Or uh, you know, yeah, that's that's the that's the best way to do it. Yeah, we can do that for you. Big up the vegan in the house, cause you know what I mean. I love vegan food too, you know. Yeah, I love vegan food, man. Coconut milk and so inside of it, I get you a nice, lovely, you know what I mean, meal. I will do that one for you. So right now the fish is in the oven preparing at the moment so and this is some vegetable so that's gonna be an amazing one guys honestly Anyway, thank you so much for coming to the show. Let me see what's going on. Let me go up on me and shout out a few people who are watching. All right. Ears is in, is in the house. Big up yourself. Sean Johnson, thank you so much. Appreciate it coming on the show. Um, excellent Studio TV. Thank you so much. Oh, again. Paulie, thank you so much. Yeah, all right. So this is the vegetable right here. All right, guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's some peas and carrot, broccoli and cauliflower mixed up together. All right. Yeah, simple, 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 guys. Nothing too complicated. No salt, no sugar, no vanilla, no, no spice or not inside of this. Just keep it simple like this. All right. So we're going to turn off the cooker for this guy. It's not going to take too long to cook. This is gonna be super easy to cook. Yeah, this looking good so far, guys. Honestly. So what we're gonna do is switch the camera around. Alright. But look at that. You saw that look different, guys? We're gonna pour off this. Right, yeah, so that's it right here. So that's the vegetable right there. All right, this is the vegetable. 
simple but also delicious all right then what we're going to do so right there that's the plate which i'm going to be serving the food on all right let's simple show you what's going on right there oh yeah that's going to be something amazing in that idea all right so what we're going to do is get the vegetable all right make sure you got a nice lovely portion of vegetable on the plate all right guys so on a sunday you don't have to go on the way and say you know what i mean through your work so hard through the week you want to um cook what some you know what i mean fast food that's what i'm trying to avoid for you guys to do on a sunday you know what i mean yeah on a sunday you need to do something which can last for a nice good two days and you'll be happy at home all right that looking simple and easy nothing too complicated all right yeah not only that let's take a look right here oh yeah look at that fish fish looking amazing guys honestly now you do not want to overcook the fish because that is important overcooking the fish not gonna be a nice one guys all right so right here we got some roast potato uh, sweet potato on it all right simple little one roast potato and some sweet potato here it is very very easy simple but also delicious you don't have to cook a fast going food on a Sunday. Honestly. Alright guys. You don't have to. Yeah. But you guys can see exactly what's going on. Yeah. You don't have to. Super easy and simple. So we just try to show you. You can avoid of cooking certain kind of food on a Sunday. By doing something fantastic and simple. Alright. As spite you may work in very hard. You're going to be tired. But you don't want to be keep putting sugar in your body. And that's what that's where the message is all about. You know what I mean? You don't want to be keeping putting the sugar. Try and avoid having sugar in your body. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because sometimes you order all the pizza, you may even get a big pizza. And then a big pizza where you get, you alone gonna eat off one chicken pizza or one um one chicken pizza or one vegetable pizza or one whatever but that's gonna be a lot you know what i mean the time you're gonna spend the money buying that just buy this guys and just cook it at home i know say something very healthy all right the fish is ready because you know the fish doesn't take long to cook it is sea bass fish all right we're gonna grab this from the oven all right Yeah, this looking good, guys. Honestly. All right, and this is your tomato right right here, which we just cooked off. Yeah. Now, this is a fish. Right here, guys. Look at this. Now, tell me now. Um, this is just a bay leaf for flavor you know because you know when we are cooked we have to put flavor to the pot all right yeah you have to put some flavors to the pot all right and that looking good simple one but guys to be honest with you look how easy and simple i did this very very simple very easy little bit of roast vegetable Roast, pot uh, roast potato and sweet potato, little bit of vegetables, a sea bass and a tomato and some avocado. That's just a simple little dinner, guys, on a Sunday. And trust me, you can do this. Instead, of you're going to be ordering a takeaway or a frozen food for you to cook at home today. Red flag. All right? Do something simple on like this. Rumfish, good morning. All right? That's my message to you guys today. 
You know what I mean? Try and just cook on a large portion of this. Have a little bit left back for tomorrow. You can be chicken. You can be whatever you cook. You just do a little portion. I know. So yeah, tomorrow you can have some of this tomorrow. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned in. We will be coming with a lot more recipes and a lot more ideas and a lot more tips that you guys can also make at home. If you think it's a very good idea, I'm sharing the love with you guys where you can do on a Sunday. Uh, you know what I mean? In the week, is a little bit different. You know what I mean? But on a Sunday, you want to do something. NW, thank you so much. Here's his in. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully, you guys have a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Look after yourself. Next week, Sunday, I'm going to be giving you a pudding. All right? Or you can do a pudding for Sunday dinner also. Because sometimes you can do a little bit of treat. You know what I mean? Sometimes you can eat a pudding. Sometimes you can eat something for a treat. So, next week, Sunday... I will be giving you a nice lovely pudding. All right? Something where you can do at home or sometime in the week. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful Sunday evening and get some rest and prepare yourself ready for Monday morning. See you next time. Bye-bye for now.